Hey, what is up guys? This is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro here and today I'm going to show you the 4th June 2019 build of the Pixel Experience ROM. This is the CAF build, not the AOSP one and I have to say that ROM have been like working pretty fine over here and I have been using it for almost 48 hours now and the ROM is working super fluid over here as you can see every animation and stuff like over here is pretty smooth and to the left we have the google now cards over here and this is the stock pixel launcher we have over here and of course there are customizations with the new pixel experience rom and we have the vaulty logo and stuff everything is there and let me just show you up close this is how the vaulty logo looks like pretty cool like oxygen os and let me just show you the settings panel over here so if you go to the about phone and android version here you will see that the android version is 9 pi of course as you can see it has the easter egg of pi and over here we have the like stock kernel as pixel experience plus kernel and the build number you can see from here and one more interesting thing is the security patch is of latest june 5th 2019 so that is just great you're getting the latest this month security patch out of the box over here and if you don't know how to flash this rom here is a card to like flash this rom method has been changed a little bit and over here the like only thing I'm disappointed about is the stock camera. Well, the stock camera was always the MIUI camera and we could install like the Google camera and stuff later on if there is camera to API. But over here, the stock camera has been changed to the default Google camera. So we do not have the MIUI camera right now. Yeah, we can get the MIUI camera by flashing Magisk and the like MIUI camera Magisk module, we can get that. But I'm just disappointed about that because the MIUI camera is a lot more optimized and it is good to take a picture and just move on. So that is how it is. The Google camera is good enough. It takes like more better pictures, but not always we need the Google camera. We always like mostly I use the Google camera like sometimes, but sometimes I do use the MIUI camera too. So I miss that. I miss that the like stock MIUI camera over here. But yeah, that is how it is. Let me open a couple of apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the RAM management over here. And as you can see, like right after tapping, the app opens up and the app open up animation is pretty smooth over here, as you can see. Like every animation over here is pretty smooth, as this is like stock pixel experience ROM. And over here, let me just open Instagram and let's open all the apps from memory again, as you can see. All the apps are in memory, so no issues whatsoever. Play Store is just like keeps loading because of my Wi-Fi, I think. So like let's open Instagram now. So as you can see, all the apps stays in memory, no issues whatsoever regarding the RAM management at all. So this is pretty good. And let me just go into the settings again and show you the display settings over here because there are some interesting stuff. The adaptive brightness or the auto brightness is there. Live display is there because if you want to use the live display as the night mode or something like that, if you want the screen to be yellowish, this feature, you can use it from here. And let me just turn it off and color profile, you can change it too. You have the like lot of color options, like color calibration of the whole screen RGB control. And you can even control the hue, saturation, intensity and contrast of the whole screen. So that is pretty good. And of course we have the double tap to wake and double tap to sleep too. Let me just enable double tap to wake. And if I just double tap on over here and double tapping on the like screen wakes up the screen too. So as you can see, this is pretty good. And in the lock screen, let me just show you again. We do have the weather and stuff. So this is pretty cool. I would say that we do like get to show the weather and the device theme and stuff like light, dark, etc. works. And if you put it to dark, the whole like settings panel theme changes to dark. So this is pretty cool. As you can see, everything like the quick settings panel from the settings panel changed to dark mode. Let me just put it back to light. Let's scroll down. You can change the dark theme style to default or just totally black. And the color theme we have for the accent colors, you can choose it to be red, cyan, pink, etc. stuff. And like, I think you know that. And talking about the Valdi calling, yes, Valdi calling is working fine over here in this room, but there is no call recording option by default, but the, you do get the video calling option. So that is there. And if you go into sound setting and advanced, we have the like vibrate to indicate call status. I think that's the in-call vibration stuff. It works and we have the me audio enhancer or me sound enhancer. From here, you can get to choose the like audio options to youth edition me headphones, like whatever me headphone you have, you can choose it from here. Or you can just change the presets and, and stuff from rock, jazz, pop to etc. And I would say the sound output via the headphone jack and over Bluetooth, like it's pretty good. The sound output over here is pretty good. You do not need to worry at all regarding that. 
And here is the fingerprint scanner speed of this ROM. I think it's pretty fast. As you can see, it unlocks quite right away over here. The fingerprint scanner speed over here is decent. As you can see, it's pretty good, I would say. And if you just go into the settings, let me just show you that there are more things. If you go into the security and lock screen, you can have the automatic face unlock or if you're using face unlock, this feature will help you to like unlock the screen automatically whenever the face is detected. And the temperature stuff is there, so you can change the temperature unit on the lock screen to Celsius to Fahrenheit and stuff like that. And if you want to disable the like heads up notification, you can just disable it from here, just like toggle this edit button over here in the quick settings. And from here, just like disable this pop up notification option. That is how you can disable the like heads up notifications. And regarding hotspot, let me just show you hotspot is working fine for me. And over here, you can change the hotspot to 5 GHz too. So if you're using 5 GHz hotspot like band or something like that, you can just choose it from here. So it does work. And one thing that I miss over here, I'm not gonna lie, that is the always unlock with fingerprint scanner option. That is simply not there. You have to enter your pin whenever you reboot your phone. And let me just go into more settings like system. Over here, we have the buttons option and disable on lock screen. You can like power button disabling option is there for the lock screen if you want that. Long press for torch is working fine in the lock screen. And over here with device and stuff with the volume keys works. And I inverted the navigation bar layout over here as you can see. And from status bar, we have the like disable on lock screen status bar option. Quick pull down is there if you use it. And system icons is there to enable the vault icons and stuff. You can go over here. And over here, we have the network traffic indicator too, but I'm not using it. And inside gestures, we have the swipe to take screenshot. This three finger screenshot gesture is working fine and it doesn't scroll. So that is pretty good. And over here, you have to enable developer options if you want to get the advanced reboot. Let me just show you, I did enable it. And if I go to restart, as you can see, I do have the advanced reboot option, like directly rebooting to system or recovery or even fast boot mode is there. So once you enable developer option, just enable this advanced restart. So this will just appear. And if you have installed this ROM and like if you're waiting for future updates, well, you will be totally fine with future updates because this ROM does support the system updater. So you can like directly update from here whenever there is a new update. So this is pretty cool, I would say. And Google Pay and stuff, everything works by default over here. You do not need to worry. Like Google Pay or any other banking apps, should be working right out of the box. And huge thanks to all of you guys because we just crossed 17,000 subscribers mark guys. Thank you so much for doing it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe to the channel for more amazing contents like this. And let me just launch PUBG. And by the way, the Android score is around 1,14,000 over here. Here is the Android score for you. And I would say the Android score is like pretty fine and the gaming performance over here is pretty good too. Let me just show you which settings you can play PUBG on with this ROM. And by the way, the battery life is pretty decent too over here. You do not need to worry. The battery life you can get around like seven hours of screen on time, pretty sure, or seven plus with your kind of usage. But I'm getting around seven to eight hours of screen on time with my kind of usage. Here are some screenshots regarding the battery life. So you can play on smooth and high settings. And if you go HD, you can play on HD and high settings. There is no HDR op option, of course, and there is no like, extreme or ultra settings over here at all of the smooth setting so that is the highest setting you can play pubg on so that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from kdn tech signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now